a lot of the pages, just just from wear and tear. I mean, the copyright I think is 2008 on these books. A lot of the seams are falling apart. It's all the copies I have here in the building. So, I think textbooks are a key resource that every student needs, so that everyone has access to the same basic information. Dust bowl. What happened to the dust bowl? Textbooks right now are the best way to ensure equity amongst all of our students in the district. With the um, high poverty rate and with the high mobility rate of our, of our students, um, the textbook is the only thing that they will find as a constant. As a social studies teacher, we're often having to find those sources on the internet and print them off for all of our students. I either make, um, write, or print everything that I use. So now I want you guys to think about what this poem is describing. If you want to have like a good school, you need textbooks to help kids so they can see pictures, you know, have pictures and read a text and you know they can take it home. But the textbook is going to be what's the key set of information across a whole class that everyone has access to interact with instead of assuming that uh, children have it outside of the school. And it would be great if um, Everyone had a computer at home, and the kids had access to the internet at home. They pretty much just have their phones, and if you've ever tried to really read something on a cell phone, it's almost impossible. So until we reach that point where all of our students, or at least some very high percentage, can reliably access this information online, then textbooks are the best way to add consistency and equity to, to our classroom. It all comes down, in my view, to funding and the ability for the district to use funds to help give every student the best opportunity to education. Okay, who, who's being described there? 